My soul is longing and yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out to the living God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers in Christ, today we celebrate Mass for the third Monday of Lent uh, from St. Mary Magdalene Chapel. For those of you at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. I'm sorry, wrong one. Uh, the Holy Guardian Angel Prayer is to bring your guardian angels here for all the blessings therein. Guardian Angel at my side, go to the church for me. Kneel in my place at Holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At Holy Consecration's bell, adore with seraph's love. My Jesus, hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. When the priest communion takes, oh, bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine, and I his temple be. Again, brothers and sisters, welcome. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your unfailing compassion, O Lord, cleanse and protect your church. And since without you she cannot stand secure, may she be always governed by your grace. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud, For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us, for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promised to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offerings, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you, but with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were burnt offerings of lambs and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today, as we follow you unreservedly, for those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies, O Lord. Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember, Remember your, your mercies, mercies O Lord. Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember, remember your, your mercies, O Lord. Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus, he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember, remember your, your mercies, O Lord. The Lord come. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, King, King of endless glory. glory. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ King, King of endless glory. glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. This is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. 
Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of the servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused, and said he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger his master handed him over to the torturers until they should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is one of those wow moments when you really consider what's going on here. I don't know where the scripture passage is. Well, I know where this one is. What I mean is I saw a reading one day where it was the exact same scripture passage, only it talked about talents and denarius. And basically, I was looking at the commentary and doing the math on what they were saying. And then basically what they were saying was this man who owes this huge amount, I mean, literally, how on earth would he owe this much money to his master or, or the king, if you will? But the amount, when I figured it out, because they told you what he made for his daily wage uh, was a few denarius, and the town is worth a whole lot of denarius. So basically when I did the math, this dude would have owed 276,000 years uh, worth of salary back to this king. And I'm like, whoa, oh, how on earth? You, you don't pay that back. You don't pay that back. 276,000 years. I don't know of anybody that lives past 100 and something years, so 276,000. And then when you did the math for this other guy uh, who, you know, this, this, this guy who's been forgiven his whole debt, goes out, uh, finds somebody that owes him money, almost strangles a guy trying to get his money back from him. And he says, I, I'll pay you back your debt. Uh, um, and, 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 and a man says, no, you owe it to me now. And he's like, I don't have it now. I can't give it to you now. And so he has a man thrown into jail, basically. And when you do the math for his, it was basically 30 days worth of work. 30 days worth of work. So I'm like, whoa, 30 days versus 176,000 years worth. This is just to give us an indication of our God's mercy, just to give us an inkling of his mercy and what it means to forgive other people. And the kind of stupid things that I've done in my life uh, and that needed mercy and forgiveness for, and the kind of things that other people have done to me, I'm looking at it going, man, you know, it, it's not even... Knowing what God has done for me in forgiveness is what I'm coming at. I look at that and I'm like, God has done everything for me that he created me to begin with. And St. Thomas Aquinas, interestingly, says something along the lines of it takes God more strength, more power, more glory, more energy, I guess. I don't know how you calculate energy for God. I really don't know God's infinite, so what difference does it make? But, but basically, it takes God more power to forgive than it does for him to create so our creation isn't as, as much against God as, as when we sin against him. Um, it, it takes him a whole lot more energy to forgive us, and yet he does. And, and that's the thing that when we look at any of our other brothers and sisters, and, and the interesting thing here is that, that the master forgave. The man tells his master, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full baloney. Baloney, dude, there's not enough people in your life that you can borrow the money you need to pay back your king. There's no way. You can't do it with your whole community. And so to even tell him that, it's like, really? You're going to pay him back the whole debt? You know, just to say, I can't possibly pay you back the debt. That's what he should have done. That's us. That's us. We're this guy, okay? We're this guy. And I don't mean right now, praise God. Hopefully we've asked God for forgiveness. Hopefully we've gone to God and said, Lord, I will forgive anybody in my life. Because when you're talking about forgiveness, you're talking about an act of the will. It's an act of the will. It means we have to choose deep inside us to say, you know what? I know what God has done for me, and I know God has been very, very, very merciful to me. Even in the small little things I've done in my life, God has been very merciful to me. He's been very merciful to you. That's our nature of our God. I do have to warn here that mercy ends when we die. We have to get this. The whole reason that Jesus Christ came to the world is to save us from what? 
to save us from our sins, we won't be damned for all eternity. And certainly whenever we don't forgive somebody else, we're telling Jesus, I don't need your forgiveness, don't need your healing, don't need anything from you, leave me alone. I'll deal with this for myself for all eternity. Well, there's one of two things. God has created heaven and hell, and either way, we're gonna be following what he designed for us to do. Might as well take the heaven route. So that's the reason why we wanna forgive. And on top of that, you know, even if we sit back and say, I don't believe in God, I don't believe in God, hopefully it's none of us, but I'm just saying, if a person said, I don't believe in God, try this, the person that doesn't believe in God. If you follow the 10 commandments, if you follow what God is asking, if you forgive other people, you feel a whole lot better in your life. You really do. Because when you don't forgive people, this is what happens. You have this constant thought process of, man, how am I going to get back to this person? That person really hurt me. I hope they die. I hope, man, what can I do to get them even? What can I do? What can I do? That, that circle is my insanity because it keeps looping and looping and looping. No, I can break out of it. As I say, Jesus, you got to take the wheel. Take the wheel in this. I give you my freedom. I freely give you my forgiveness from this person that hurt me. Why? Because I'm tired of it, man. Lord Jesus, I'm tired of, of, of being in that loop ever. Anytime I go in that loop, get me out as quickly as possible. So forgiveness, sure, forgive anybody in my life. There's nobody who can hurt me bad enough or hurt any of my loved ones bad enough not to forgive. Okay, that's what it comes down to. And hey, even if nothing else, I've seen some amazing things, at least testimonies of people. It's one woman, basically, uh, her, her son was murdered by this guy, and, and, and she went to court and said, because of God's love for me, I forgive you. And I'm looking at it going, man, would I, you know, if I don't have any children, we'll never have any biological children. I have many faith children, but nonetheless, uh, I look at that and I'm like, would I? Yes. At this point in time, yes, whatever it costs. I know it. I, I know it enough. I will do it at this point. But I'm just saying that, that she freed this man from, from eternal death because she forgave him. Enough said, my brothers and sisters, God love us. Oh, brothers and sisters, let us now lift up our intentions to our Lord. For the intentions of our whole church, for everything our church is doing to try to invite people to follow, not just the teachings of Jesus, but to follow him himself, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For today's Mass intention for <coughs> Anna Del Delatore uh, and her family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Uh, for the next group of people in the prayer and intention hotline for the Oakland family, Father H.L. and George Brignac, Bear Magusa and Dylan Copper, Noel, George Kraus, and everybody else, their families and everybody else on the prayer and intention hotline, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who announce the forgiveness of Christ, especially through their actions and words, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who endured abusive rates of interest and economic injustice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for what else should we pray for this day? For those who have been abused in God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been killed in we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Source of mercy, your promise, you promise the restoration of all that has been lost to sin. May, make us signs of your healing grace, that mercy may thwart revenge, and Christ's reign may be revealed. For he lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May what we offer you, O Lord, in token of our service, be transformed by you into the sacrament of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate in your kindness, and so, and so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory, glory are yours is now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace, 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 peace. peace. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world, the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Pray in us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy. worthy. You, should you should enter, enter under my roof. roof. But only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. For those of you at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. Let us pray. O oh God, founder and ruler of your people, drive away all the sins that assail them, that they may always be pleasing to you and ever safe for, uh, under your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, host. <coughs> by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and, and all, all the evil spirits, spirits who prowl throughout the world, world seeking the world's souls. souls. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great day, a great week, and uh, God bless you. Be safe and keep up those Lenten penances, everybody. God bless you.